Jim Ringo was me on Kenya, Kyongos Naraila Odinga, Matakarua Kalonzom Sioka, Pamojana Viongos Wengine, Wameapa Kutom Tambua, Rais William Ruto, Kama Rais to Taifaili, E Nibada, Mrengo Huo, Waki of Kuandamana, and our Fosiwake, Kuandamana Kutokana Kutokaka, Wanja and Diego Kimatai for JKA, Alkoto Odinga, Hileo Kutok Africa Kusini, Nakutumi Barabara Jogu, Kuleke Katka, Wanja Kam Kunji, ambako Odinga alitangaza kuwa kura za uchaguzi wa Agosti 9 mwaka jana basi ziliibwa ili kumnyima fursa ya kuongoza taifa hili kulingana na Odinga aliyetangaza matako nane ambayo serikali ya Kenya kwanza yapaswa kufanya ili kuleta demokrasia nchini kuna haja ya kuweka wazi miundo mbinu iliyotumia IBC katika kusimamia uchaguzi wa Agosti 9 Since August 15 we have conducted our own investigations of the IBC and the election results. We are convinced beyond the shadow of a doubt that our victory was stolen. It therefore came to us with, 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 with surprise and great relief that within the IBC itself, there are great patriots and Kenyans of conscience who are willing to risk everything for the sake of our country. Gallant IBC whistleblowers have now published the true and authentic results of the 2022 elections. Those who have gone over the data and the forms posted on the whistleblowers website have confirmed the authenticity of the data. The election wasn't even close. According to the IBC with the lower data, we won handily with over two million votes. Allow me to make a few observations about the data. First, we carried the traditional strongholds of the coast, western, northeastern, lower eastern, Nyanza, and Nairobi with comfortable, often overwhelming margins. But it was our performance in the Mount Kenya region where we broke all records. The people of the mountain voted for us as they have never done before. We call on Kenyans to reject the punitive order policies that are making life unbearable. Order is resorting to these policies because it was not ready and did not get any mandate to govern. Six, in particular, we call on Kenyans to resist and demand the removal of the primitive taxes that have led to primitive costs of basic products and services, including hunger, milk, sugar, school books, fuel, electricity, bus fare, paraffin, and school fees. 